Hey yo guys, what's up? Robert Ryan here. Let's play NBA 2K22 NBA Finals game number five. As we all know, this is the Andrew Wiggins game. And let's simulate it today. We'll see if we can get Andrew to score more than 20 points. I'll be using the Golden State Warriors today. Now with that, let's hop on to the game. I already set the uniforms to follow on that day. There will be less commentary today, more on gameplay, so I hope you will enjoy the game that we'll have. Alright, if you'd like to join and be a member of the Private Ryan Gameplays, we have the join button now. The exclusive stuff is going to come your way. So be sure to decide on that one. I hope you enjoy the game. A great record. Two games back from the NBA Finals game five. Supposed to do, getting after it each and every night. Warriors, Celtics, tip off just moments away. Hello and thanks for joining us folks for this midweek NBA action on 2K Sports with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan on the sidelines. We have David Aldridge reporting and here we can check out the score for Kevon Looney and guys I think the best way to measure his performance these lasting games is his effective field goal percentage which has improved and a sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. Allen sent it down to David Aldridge standing by from the sidelines. David. Thank you Kevin. And I love David how he is always hungry for wins and competition. Thank you. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. Williams is out there with Horford and it's Tatum in at the three spot. And for the Warriors. Curry and Poole have the guard spot. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Draymond Green, and it's Thompson in at the three. Greg, I think it's going to be a battle of the boards, a battle of rebounding, and you know what that's like. You played alongside some great rebounders. Well, you know, Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley. I mean, those guys got after it as well as anybody who's ever played. Now here's Williams. Back to Smart. Over Curry. Smart kicks to Horford. Williams dishes to Tatum. Shot clock at five. You're smart. Great tee that time from Curry. And it's the Warriors ball. From deep. And Boston with the rebound. And moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, I mean, just way too many turnovers in that it's one. If you can't protect the ball, you, you can't expect ball. to win. That's exactly right. Miss cues drive a coach crazy. You're giving them more opportunities than you're giving yourself, and that's always problematic. Smart on the wing. Guarded by Green. Smart passes to Tatum. From the low block. Here's Williams. The kick out to Brown. Good. And a nice assist for Williams. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. On the wing, Thompson. Fires for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Now, smart. 20 points for him last game against Golden State. Outside, Williams. Knocked away. Pass to Tatum. Try 
drives to the hoop and slam dunk by Tatum. Well, the incredible explosiveness. No fear from Jason Tatum. Ooh, ooh, lights out. Well, Dorsey's already a great scorer, and now Tatum has become an incredibly efficient scorer. Well, listen, the great ones are not only about putting up numbers. It's how efficiently you do it. From three, from the free throw line, this guy is so much more consistent. And, yes, he's got the mid-range game that he can go to in tough spots. This guy plays big at the rim. He's everything you want offensively. Now here's Wiggins. Marcus Smart missing that last shot. And, and Wiggins thrived as a That's secondary option. Foul. Seems first that is the role he's best fit for. Uh, his efficiency soared. And, and with Wiggins, Wiggins, he didn't face the same pressure break. It was a huge weight off his shoulders. And, and that mental aspect impacts players. Wiggins was asked to do less, and as a result, ended up doing more. They throw good, Wiggins. I think Wiggins will always be remembered in that monster trade for Kevin Love a while ago. You don't see many trades like that in the NBA. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And the Celtics with possession here. They trail by one. Smart kicks to Horford. Pass to Tatum from deep three-point range. No good on the shot. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, in that game, I, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes in the points. Well, you have to capitalize when your opponent has miscues and give this team some credit. Every time that opponent turned it over, they capitalized. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Curry outside. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. When a player is in his range, as soon as he steps across the half-court line, that's almost impossible to check. Welcome, Mr. Curry, to the three-party. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Tatum. Back to Brown. Takes it inside. Brown jams it in. We've got to get this guy in the dunk contest. Jalen Brown taking flight with that insane athleticism. On our at and 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Outside Curry. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. As we close in to start the playoffs, let's see how the West is stacking up. We'll take a look at the Warriors. Unless they completely melt down, they should be in good position for a playoff run. And for the Warriors, they must have reached every goal they set for themselves this season. For them to be this high in the standings this late in the season, what an accomplishment. I don't know of anyone who thought the road to the championship would travel through their building this season, but that just may be the case. Now Thompson, after Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. If you ever notice Stephen Curry's vision, his eyes are always looking for opportunities to find his teammates. So it's Boston now. Four-point game. Tatum wide open. Fires one. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Tatum's got five points so far. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Poole, the pass to Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down. Well, Andrew Wiggins has become adept at knowing how to get separation and get his shot off. That's a nice pick-and-roll play. Celtics trail by three. There's the pass to Tatum.
Shot clock at six. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And it goes on Tremont Green. And Greg is the playoffs loom in the distance for those teams who have overachieved in the regular season. How do they ensure that their success continues in the postseason? Well, listen, the skeptics will remain. And you've got to understand the playoffs are a different animal. You have to be resilient and adaptable. And when that adversity hits, that's when your focus has to rise. And stolen by Horford. The feed to Brown. Wiggins with the block. Well, using every bit of that seven-foot wingspan, Wiggins airmailing it back. Here's Curry. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Curry's got his second bucket of the night. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, this guy has been on the money. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Boston Celtics. They trail by three. Williams finds Brown. Shoots over Poole. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Golden State's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. To the inside, Wiggins, and Wiggins throws it down. Well, the leaping ability and wingspan of Andrew Wiggins is helping him dominate above the rim. And the Celtics with possession here. Outside Tatum. Over Thompson. And too long on the shot. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. He dishes it to Green. To the paint. Here's Wiggins. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Eight points for Andrew Wiggins. Green running it around. Eight of their last ten. Celtics coming off the So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. It's right. it's this out of this. Like, what we this feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. And the Warriors with some changes. Looney comes in for Green. And Kaminga subbed in for Jordan Poole. And a new group in for the Celtics. Daniel Tice is checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Al Horford. White is checked in for Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Marcus Smart. Curry with the steal. Wiggins drives in. Can't hit from in close. Celtics trail by seven. Down low. It's stolen by Kaminga. Inside. Here's Curry. Some solid defense from Brown. Boston's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Now here's White. Tight defense on him. He kicks to Brown. The three. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Into the lane. And Kuminga throws it down. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. They're having trouble stopping this run. And the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. Here's Pritchard. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. From deep. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Curry deciding where to go with it. Now, here's Kaminga. He's guarded by Williams. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins. Wiggins has got 10 points in the game. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Round against Thompson. To the middle. Here's Pritchard. Makes it off the glass. Five points in the game. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Now here's Curry. He's tightly guarded. Here's Wiggins. Nice pass. Right under the rack perfectly for the layup. 
I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Brown against Wiggins. Curry with the steal. And here's the fast break. Here's Thompson. And Thompson slams it home. Well, give Steph Curry some props for triggering that break. He makes a great defensive play, and it leads to an easy opportunity. 110 left in the first quarter. Brown outside. Over Thompson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Driving in. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. White drives in. That shot, no good. Great tee that time from Curry to the inside. And it's blocked by Brown. Wow, twice on the pipe. Jalen Brown with a message for the offense. Nice. Wiggins left side. Tries again. Off the mark, only his second miss in seven attempts. Here's Pritchard. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. A shot by Curry, no good. And so it's the Golden State Warriors enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've that was a good a clinic in the paint. first quarter by Andrew Wiggins. I think we got 12 points low. in that one. We come back right after this. Let's go for the second quarter. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Warriors leading by 12. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Celtics, we've got White. Williams is out there with Brown. Then there's Daniel Tice, and it's Pritchard in at the one. Here's Pritchard. Pocket six. Kicks to White. A three ball. Porter pulls it in. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Inside, Looney passes to Kaminga. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. And we play through the first uh, minute here in the second. Tice trying to break free. Williams gets the bucket. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. And in terms of the mid-range game, Brown has joined a very elite crowd. Yeah, no doubt. This guy is both prolific and proficient. He has worked so hard on the short area dribble, the shot release so much more consistent, as is his focus. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first personal foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for the Celtics, Jalen Brown. At the line for two. That free throw good from Brown. And for Jalen Brown at the free throw line, he has worked so hard on his mechanics, and that's paid dividends in terms of his confidence, guys. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Raymond Green, who's checked in for Kavon Looney. The Al comes in for Kaminga. And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. Green finds Poole. Here's Peyton. Shoots over Brown. The shot by Peyton, no good. White looking around. And the lead is down inside single digits. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. 
Pierce. Pool. Basket. Good. And the Warriors lead by 10. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Jason Bangs Tatum. home the trifecta. Three now this guy's so good at making great decisions. Jason Tatum on the catch and shoot. That's nice. It's deflected. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's White. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Celtics. Robert Williams is checked in for Daniel Tice. Horford comes in for Williams. And Smart subbed in for Brown. And both free throws good for White. Yeah, in this quarter they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Now here's Poole. A 14 point game for him in the win against Boston. And he uses the glass on the way. He's got his second basket of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Celtics trail by seven. And White kicks to Tatum. With the drive and slam dunk by Tatum. Some athleticism on display. Jason Tatum, the speed, the strides on the drive. Poole, the pass to Peyton. Hands the shot from the wing. Peyton's got his first two points. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Outside Tatum. Here's the three. Warriors with the rebound. They're led by as many as 14 points. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Now here's Peyton. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Boston. And not just the scoring. It was also how fierce he was on defense, grabbing three steals on the night as well. Well, Otto Porter has become a three-point specialist. This guy's so efficient from that range. Here's Tatum. Williams kicks to Smart. Fires the three. Porter pulls it in. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Warriors. Ten-point lead. Poole the pass to Bialitsa. The layup off target. Boston's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Smart softly drops in the floater. Uh, the clever floater, right? Marcus Smart putting the right amount of touch on what is really a tough shot. Poole kicks to Payton. And shot opportunity, and it's sent back by Horford. Smart deciding where to go with it. Outside, White. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jordan Poole. That's his first foul. foul. Third team foul. Here's White. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. There's the try. Golden State foul. Gary Pinkin. That's his second personal foul. Well, tonight he's gone two, two for two at the stripe. At the line for the Celtics. Derek White. Two shots.
And he knocks down the first one. Thompson, he's checked in for Peyton. And both free throws, good for White. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Cool on the wing. Guarded by Smart. Here's Thompson. They kick it out to Green. The shot misses. And it's Boston the other way. Passes it to Smart. Outside Tatum. Over Porter. Boston again missing. Warriors leading by six. Green passes to Porter. Poole with it. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Golden State's gone three or four from long range in the game. Lost to Thompson. To the paint. Six feet out. The elites and misses. Celtics trail by six. Here's White. Porter pulls it in. Warriors shooting at 46%, making some buckets. The three from Poole. Not going to go that time. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Down low, out to White. Puts up a three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. White's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Cool finds Thompson. To end the cold streak. He lays it in. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. And Boston has possession. It's a five-point game. Pass to Tatum. To the paint. Here's Horford. No good. Great T that time from Green. Thompson outside over Horford. And Boston with the rebound. Williams has got rebound number five here tonight. Outside, smart. Over in the corner, White. Off target from three-point range. Warriors leading by five. Thompson outside. Over Tatum. And it's Thompson again missing. Austin's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. At the top of the key, Horford. Porter with a block. Well, with that seven foot one wingspan for Otto Porter, he can provide some shot blocking. Here's Thompson and block. That one goes careening off the glass. To the left side wing. Right the pass to Horford. Over Porter. Horford, no luck. Golden State's gone one or two on three quarters here in the second quarter so far. Thompson for the triple. The rebound by the Celtics. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing at fun. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Team foul. What a struggle, but play. For the past five minutes, I the think. Warriors the shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Clay Thompson at the line for two. That free throw good from Thompson. It is easy to get lost in the well-rounded offensive game of Clay Thompson, but let's remember this guy is an elite defender, quick feet, great athleticism, and length. Boy, what a player! Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Looney's checked in for Green. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Bielitsa. Dominguez come in for Porter. And Curry subbed in for Jordan Poole. Here's Tatum. Brown wide open. He fires. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. 
Brown's got nine points. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Brown inside the line. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Warriors leading by four. Here's Wiggins. They get it back. Feeds to Kerr. To the wing on the left. Here's Kaminga. And again, no good by Golden State. Boston shooting 35% so far in the second. They need to move the ball around more and find better looks. And that one drops for him. Well, don't you love the way Jalen Brown is squaring up in the mid-range? This guy's getting his feet under him. His pre-shot preparation outstanding. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Warriors lead by four. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Thanks, David. And we'll be back Sorry, shortly Dave. following halftime <laughs> to get the third quarter underway. All right. A low-scoring bowl game. Halftime show. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Clay Thompson putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 13 points, five rebounds, and one assist. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Most of the damage they're doing is in the paint. They've made a concerted effort to work the ball inside, create high percentage looks. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half, with the D worried about the most. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Well, I love that they were forceful at their offensive end. They got the shots they wanted. They played aggressively and got to the line. A strong attacking mindset. I like it. We'll see if they bring the same attitude in the second half, though. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. That was a long stretch where Stephen Carey is in the bench in the second quarter. Have you guys noticed that one? And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Clay Thompson has been sensational. No problems fighting his way to the rim <laughs> in this one. A lot of points one. in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Curry and Poole have the guard spots. Clay Thompson is out there with Wiggins, and it's Green in at the five down low. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Now here's Smart. After the miss from Clay Thompson, Smart kicks to Horford. Can't connect from short range. Warriors leading by four. Curry dishes to Wiggins. Green passes to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. And Thompson throws it down. Can we give Clay Thompson some credit here? There's a number of ways to score off the pick and roll, and he's got every one at his disposal. Celtics trail by six. Outside Tatum. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Six to shoot. Brown the pass to Williams. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Make no mistake, this is a fundamentally sound player. Jason Tatum skilled at drawing contact. Zellig's have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. The line for two. That was some weird foul going on. <laughs> Green could have almost injured. Jason there. And that one falls for Tatum. Well, the former number three pick in the 2017 draft, Jason Tatum has been nothing short of amazing as a young gun in this league. What a star on the rise. And so Tatum nails them both. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. <laughs> Curry against Smart. Curry.
Murray can't get it to go. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Warriors leading by four. And Doris, we've seen it. Jordan Poole growing as a player, but consistency needs to come to his game. That's exactly right, because Poole has shown flashes of being a solid basketball player. He can handle it. He can shoot it. It's really about smoothing out his game. Now, here's Brown. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Horford, no luck. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. And there it is for him. Curry's got nine. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Brown. Again, the miss by the Celtics. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight they've missed. Thompson against Tatum. And Thompson kicks to Poole. Off target with his three. Celtics trail by six. On the wing, Brown. Guarded by Poole. The fader. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of half. Curry passes to Wiggins. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting Robert foul. Williams. That's some contact inside. Foul. Wiggins playing big and will go to the charity strike. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage of the line improve. But he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. The Warriors making a switch here. Payton's checked in. Now here's Smart. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. There's Brown with the three. Trills the three-pointer. He's got 14. Well, you've got to get out on Jalen Brown now. This is a young man who has shown great strides in improving his perimeter game. To the wing right side. Here's Peyton. Wiggins trying to free himself up. And it's Peyton. This time on the assist by Curry. Curry's got his sixth assist on the night. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Outside Tatum. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous oh, play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. That free throw missing. Ball don't lie. <laughs> Good on the second free throw. Off the inbound pass. That one misses. Good D by Thompson. To the middle. And that one's good. Riggin. Wiggins has got 15 points. You look at the numbers tonight. When Wiggins asserts himself, he's painful to defend. Celtics trail by seven. It's Williams high post. On the wing, Brown. Over Pete. And the call will be against Al Horford. And that'll be his third foul so far. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The quarters checked in for Golden State. Derek White checked in for the Celtics. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Boston's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're six of 15. To the inside. The kick out to Brown. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Brown's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, this is the very definition of feeling it. Jalen Brown taking smart shots and playing perfectly within the team schemes. It's three outside. Rebound, Boston. 
Horford's got six rebounds in the game. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Peyton against Brown, outside White. Clock at four. Nice D from Porter. Warriors leading by four. Here's Wiggins. Snags through for his seventh basket and 11 tries. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. The pass to Brock from the arc. He can't get that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. They're led by as many as 14 points. Wiggins. That one go. It's coming. And it's an eight-point Warrior lead. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Boston's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Here's Horford. Wiggins with the block. And they recover it. White with it. Now Peyton defending. And it's White missing. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Curry trying to break free. That bucket in in no time at all. Porter's got six. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Warriors. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. Kaminga comes in for Porter. And then for Boston. Daniel Tice is checked in for Robert Williams. Williams comes in for Al Horford. And it's Pritchard in for Smart. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Pritchard, five points in the game. Boston, no good that time either. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Offensive rebound. Wiggins, lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. The Warriors shoot their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. At the line for the Dubs, Andrew Wiggins at the line for one. Free throw good, Wiggins. Celtics trail by 14. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. That's his third time he's on fire. Andrew Wiggins is following the game five real live performance. Austin with the ball. Williams finds Brown. Williams against Wiggins. White, wide open. He fires. Good. The nice assist for Williams. Williams has got three assists tonight. White against Peyton. Passes it to Looney. And here is Kaminga. And he drives in, Boston and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Daniel Tice. His first that is his first foul of the game. Team foul. Celtics on D. They trail by 11. Pass to Kaminga. Some nice passing by Golden State. Four on the shot clock. Wiggins. Excellent D there from Williams. Austin's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Greg, playing most of your career in the 90s, the game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled, but what role has the league played in all of that change? 
Well, the, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. And I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game and grow. Here's Wiggins. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second. And you see it right there. Wiggins excels at drawing contact, getting to the free throw line his specialty. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Both shots good from the strike. Celtics trail by 13. Brown outside. Over in the corner, Williams. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Williams has got five points so far. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And it's White missing. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. I'm willing to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Now here's White. He's got 12. Pass to Pritchard. One fifteen left to play in the third. The pass to Tice. Five to shoot. Off the mark. Had a chance to trim it to single digits. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And they pick up two. He's got 13. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Celtics trail by 14. Here's Pritchard. He's got five. Outside White. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first. Yeah, easy call. Third team foul. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Warriors. Bielitsa, he checks in for Andrew Wiggins. Thompson comes in for Gary Payton. And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. And a change for the Celtics. Tatum's checked in. Timeout called the Warriors. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Pritchard. Passes to Tice. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Hialitsa's got rebound number five here tonight. And Kaminga throws it down. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Tatum deciding where to go with it. It's good from long range. Tatum. Tatum's got six Rebound. points in the quarter. This, to me, is an area that Jason Tatum really worked on. That three-pointer now one of the most dangerous aspects of his game. And so it's Andrew Wiggins making highlights for the Golden State Warriors. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And we'll be back with you shortly. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat 
nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Williams is out there with Tatum. Then there's Daniel Tice. Then it's White. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard position. Now here's White. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Now, here's Poole. Looking to get it going, and it's good on the way. And the Warriors lead by 13. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Richard passes to Tice. Here's Tatum, and the dunk by Tatum. Well, Jason Tatum at six feet eight with authority. That's nice. Poole on the wing. Misses the layup. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jordan Poole. That's foul number two for him. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. Marcus Smart's checked. In for Boston. There's the triple. The Warriors pull it in. They're led by as many as 14 points. Driving inside. Kaminga, no good. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Boston Celtics. 11-point game. Thompson with it. Williams picks him up. And stolen by Tatum. Pass to Tice. Nice ball movement by Boston. And Tice throws it down. Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. They get the rebound. Second chance shot. Looney got a piece of it. Inside. Here's Tatum. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got four assists in the game. The solid mechanics of Jason Tatum on display. How about the balance in a difficult finish? Timeout called the Warriors. Can we talk about Smart as a leader? This guy's not afraid to get up in a teammate's shirt if that's what it calls for. There's no doubt this guy is so passionate and so vocal. And what you love more than anything is the willingness to take head on tough issues. Some guys will shy away. Not Mr. Marcus Smart. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. His demeanor was not one of the coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. Okay, David, thanks. Now, here's Tatum. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Smart. Oh, great ball movement there. The Warriors have gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Thompson dishes to Curry. Back to Thompson. Over Tatum. Thompson finds Curry. Just four to shoot. The end of the drought. And the Warriors miss again. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. To the left wing. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Tatum against Thompson. Here's Smart. Moves back up. It's deflected. And folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Close game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able now the challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for
And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined Greg to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's called about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Now here's Tatum. Down low. And it's Williams finishing it off. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regroup. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. But the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooters. Jalen Brown's checked in for Pritchard. Smart against Curry. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Brown right side. It's stolen by Kaminga. The drive by Green. And it's Green with the jam. Green the first. Draymond Green. Ooh, he gets a step and delivers. Celtics trail by four. Smart passes to Williams. There's the dish to Brown. He kicks it to Tatum. Over Green. Tatum no good. Golden State's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Curry with the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. And it's a seven-point Warrior lead. That's just a terrific pass from Clay Thompson. My goodness. Pass to Brown. Outside Williams. Here's Horford. Williams trying to break free. Horford gets the bucket. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that one had come any later, it would have been Katie bar the door. <laughs> They're showing so much passion and determination here at the end. They're close to the lead, but still have plenty of work left to do. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Kaminga. Andrew Wiggins. On defense, the Celtics. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. Here's Curry. And it goes down two points. And the Warriors lead by seven. Just smooth execution of the pick and roll. Curry has great understanding and a ton of success running this. Smart kicks to Williams. And there's the call on Curry. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Warriors on D. Led by as many as 14 points. I just love the fire with which Draymond Green plays defense. This man does not let you get comfortable. And, and battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Boston Celtics. They trail by nine points. Tatum way outside. And Curry pulls it down. Curry's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now Wiggins. Excellent D there from Williams. Celtics trail by nine. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Start with the ball. Just five to shoot. Kicks it to Horford. Oh, good on the triple. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. The shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And it's off from three-point range. Austin's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Tatum with it. Picked up by Thompson. Williams against Wiggins. Boston, no good that time either. Warriors leading by nine. Thompson outside to the middle, and it's Wiggins with the jam. Well, pick and roll is a crucial aspect in the NBA. Play Thompson on time and off target. 
Here's Tatum. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Andrew Wiggins really making a difference here. Absolutely on fire. They need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And to me, the best part of the game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. Right side, Tatum. Smart on the wing. Guarded by Kirk. Smart passes to Tatum. Lock at six. Misses off the left iron. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Curry can't get it to go. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Smart dishes to Brown. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got assist number five here tonight. Well, it's just outstanding distribution from Marcus Smart, keeping his eyes peeled in order to find his guys in their spots. And it's Riggins with the jam. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Celtics trail by 10. Tatum with it. Now Green defending. And yes, it's good. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. Showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. Now here's Curry. Poole on the wing. And he's good on the three ball. Yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. A great open look there. Brown's got 23 points. Making a huge difference from deep tonight. That was a big-time shot. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from, and they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Now here's Curry, and Thompson kicks to Curry. Now the basket pool. Back to Curry, just fine on the clock. Golden State moving the ball around. Thompson with the bucket. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Tatum with it. Picked up by Thompson. And another shot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Thompson. That That's one on Thompson. Foul. How about the confidence Third, from foul. this young gun? Jason Tatum's length is tough to deal with inside, guys. Jason Tatum at the line for two. <laughs> Gets the first, and that brings them within single digits. So Tatum nails them both. They're this close to putting it away. Yeah, they don't need to do anything special. Just take time off the clock. Celtics foul. Gary Neesmith. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Dubs. Moses Moody. Looks like a win. Taking it's a good game. Shots. Exactly what we expect. One, and that will put them Wiggins scoring. Nine. Stephen Curry is struggling, but still the player of the game. And Clay a little bit of struggle. That one falls, so it's but it's a big well, win. Love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes As of this recording, the, the next throws. day we're going to play game six. In the corner, so who you got? Do we got Boston? You guys Left got Brown. Golden State to win Smart the championship. Misses. So thank you so much Johnson for staying. Coming of the pass to Curry. 
and watching this game. I hope everyone's had a good time. With that said, this has been Private Ryan. I'll be seeing you. Peace. Particularly here at home. I think they built off that edge of being here and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That's do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Laser beam when I storm troopers. People fear what they don't understand.